Key 21. The World. Tav, transliterated as TH, and sometimes just T, value 400, means signature or mark. But the mark is a cross of equal arms, like that on the breast of the high priestess. This letter is called Tau in the Greek alphabet, and the Egyptian Tau cross is said to have been a tally for measuring the depth of the Nile, also a square for measuring right angles. Among the Hebrews, it was a symbol of salvation, Ezekiel 9, 4. Thus, it represents salvation from death and eternal life. As representing a signature, this letter implies security, guarantee, pledge, and so on. A signature is what makes business instruments valid. The letter Tav, therefore, indicates the final seal and witness to the completion of the great work of liberation. Center, sometimes called, quote, the palace of holiness in the midst, end quote, is the direction attributed to Tav. This palace of holiness is said to sustain all things. In Kabbalistic writings, it is said to be Jerusalem or Zion, where man can commune with God. The Hebrew word for palace is He, Yod, Kof, Lamed, Haikal. The numeral value of this word, 65, is also the number of Adonai, Lord. In the cube of space, the letter Tav is the interior center, the point where the three coordinates which correspond to the three mother letters cross one another. This center is that point which is the fifth dimension. In it, all spatial relations are united in a single here, and all time relations in a single now. The realization of this one point is the culmination of concentration. Saturn is the planet corresponding to Tav. According to mythology, Saturn ate his own children. He represents that which absorbs its own expressions back into itself. Exoterically, Saturn is the planet of inertia, concreteness, profundity, weight. It shares the rulership of Aquarius, key 17, the star, with Uranus, key 0, the fool, and is the ruler of Capricorn, key 15, the devil. Saturn is exalted in Libra, key 11, justice. Thus, we have here a power which is active in meditation, which is the source of those apparent limitations which make us seek a way of escape from bondage, and which is expressed in the equilibrated action symbolized by justice. Saturn's color is indigo, or blue-violet. The musical tone is A-natural. Dominion and slavery is the pair of opposites attributed to Tav. Right interpretation of the necessity for limitation in any form of manifested existence is the secret of domination. Wrong interpretation of the same thing is the cause of our slavery to conditions. The clue to right understanding is the aphorism, quote, He who would rule nature must first obey her laws, end quote. Administrative intelligence is the mode of consciousness attributed to Tav. This is consciousness of active participation in the cosmic government. It is entry into the kingdom of heaven as a fully enfranchised citizen, charged with full responsibility for the execution of its laws. The number 21 is connected with 12 and 3. It is also the sum of the numbers from 0 through 6. Compare it with the keys bearing these numbers. In particular, study key 21 as the summation of the ideas represented by the series of pictures from 0 through 6. Again, 21 is the culmination of the series of trumps numbered 3, the empress, 6, the lovers, 9, the hermit, 
12, the hanged man, 15, the devil, and 18, the moon. The world is the commoner title. Sometimes this key is named the universe, to indicate that the consciousness it represents is not merely terrestrial, but truly cosmic. The four animals at the corners of the design have been explained in connection with the tenth key of tarot. Note, however, that in the tenth key, the bull faces the lion, but in key 21, the bull faces away from the lion. This is because the bull corresponds to the last letter of the tetragrammaton, yod he vav he which symbolizes the physical plane. In cosmic consciousness, the closed circuit of successive transformations of energy is, so to say, broken, so that the limitations of the physical plane and its three dimensions no longer bind the consciousness of the adept. In the Rider Pack, the proportions of the ellipse surrounding the dancing figure are incorrect. In older versions, and in the BOTA tarot, this ellipse is 5 units wide and 8 units high. This gives a very close approximation to the quadrature of the circle, and is related also to the dimensions of the sides of the vault described in the Rosicrucian Fama Fraternitatis. The proportion is derived from the geometrical construction of the hexagram, or figure of two interlaced triangles, shown in the diagram which is the frontispiece of this book. In the BOTA version, as in older packs, the ellipse is formed of 22 groups of three leaves, 11 groups on either side. These represent the 22 forces corresponding to the letters of the Hebrew alphabet and to the tarot keys. There are three leaves in each group because every one of the 22 forces has three modes of expression. Any one of these forces may manifest itself in integration, in disintegration, or in equilibration, according to the way in which it is applied. Note that the ellipse is a zero sign, and zero is the numeral symbol of superconsciousness. The horizontal eight-shaped bindings at the top and bottom of the wreath are like those over the heads of the magician and of the woman in key eight. They have the same meanings. Here they are red, to suggest that the law symbolized by keys 1 and 8 has been carried into action. The similarity between them and their positions suggests the hermetic axiom, that which is above is as that which is below. The dancer represents the merging of self-consciousness with subconsciousness, and the blending of these two with superconsciousness. Occult tradition says that the scarf violet in color, and shaped like a letter cough, conceals the fact that this is an androgen figure. In this highest form of conscious experience, all sense of separate sex is lost, along with the extinction of the sense of separate personality. The dancer is the all-father and the all-mother. She is the bride, but she is also the bridegroom. She is the kingdom and the king. Even as Malkuth, the kingdom, is by Kabbalists called the Bride, but has also the divine name Adonai Melek, Lord King. She bears two wands. In the BOTA version, these are spirals. That in the right hand turns clockwise. The one in the left hand turns counterclockwise. The wands represent the spiral force of the life power. That in the right hand symbolizes involution. The other represents evolution. This key signifies cosmic consciousness, or nirvana. For full descriptions of this state, see Dr. Richard Morris Buck's Cosmic Consciousness. Ali Nomad's book of the same title. Ospensky's Tertium Organum. Jakob Burme's Supersensual Life, William James's Varieties of Religious Experience, and the writings of Swami Vivekananda. The central fact of this experience is that he to whom it comes has first-hand knowledge that he is in perfect union with the one power 
which is the pivot and the source of the whole cosmos. He knows also that through him the governing and directing power of the universe flows out into manifestation. Words fail to give any adequate idea of this seventh stage of spiritual unfoldment. We must leave it to your intuition to combine the suggestions of the picture with the meanings of the letter Tav. Here is a representation of what you really are and of what the cosmos really is. The universe is the dance of life. The immortal, central self of you. That is the eternal dancer.